Hello, this is Prayana. Welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. In today's video, we will learn about estimation from textbook of CBSE Board NCRT Mathematics of Grade 6. I know many children get confused when they see the word estimation. They get many questions in their mind as why do we have to estimate numbers? Why do we have to do calculation two to times? And many more. But trust me, estimation is very useful when you grow up. I will explain you this by giving examples. First, we will look after the definition of estimation. Estimation means having a rough calculation of the value, number, quantity or extent of something. We use estimates of numbers to make it easier and quicker to do calcul mental calculations when we are happy to accept an answer which is very close to the actual answer. Means uh, whenever we have to uh, tell the number of something and we don't know the exact value of that then what we will do we will uh, give the rough number of that means uh, the closer number of that number. That number is called as the estimated number. Okay. Uh, let's understand this by the example. Let's assume you are going for shopping. Then you make a list of things which you are going to buy. You even guess the price so that you can take approximate money with you. So let's say this is our shopping list. And I have given here approximate price for each thing. And also extra rupees thousand for if we like something else and if we eager to buy it. Okay. Now look at here. We did not took the exact price of the things. See. Uh, means for t-shirt I have assumed it, it might be of rupees thousand. And for pants rupees two thousand. Same way for earrings I have taken rupees two hundred. Same way for other things. Okay. So approximately I am taking here 5500 for shopping. Uh, we may need less than this also. Okay. Now let's understand the next example which is, the, which is from your textbook itself. Here the example. Approximately 2000 people were killed and more than 50,000 injured in a cyclonic storm in a coastal areas of India and Bangladesh. Means, see here, uh, here the word approximately itself shows that the number of people were near about these numbers. Means, uh, they have told killed people are about 2000 but they might be of 1800 or they might be of 2300. Same way, they have told injured people are about 50,000 but they might be of 48,000 or might be 53,000. We go through many examples where we have to estimate numbers for rough calculations. Now here also they have taken the estimated numbers. Okay. Um, well, in such examples we go through in our day to day life. Therefore estimation is very important. Now let's learn how to estimate numbers or we can even say rounding of the numbers. So for that there are some rules. Let's understand those rules. Rules to apply while rounding of the numbers. <coughs> now uh, the first rule is the number rounding of near two tens. Means uh, if we have to round the number near nearby to tens, then what we have to do? We have to first focus on ones place. Okay, and uh, 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 let's understand this rule by the number line. Here, this is the number line. Now here they have given the rule as the number 1, 2, 3 and 4 are nearer to 0. Understood now? 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 numbers are nearer to 0 than 10. So we round off 1, 2, 3, 4 as 0. And the number 6, 7, 8 and 9 are nearer to 10. So we 
राउंड देम ऑफ एस टेन नंबर फाइव बट द नंबर फाइव इज इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम बोथ जीरो एज वेल एज टेन सो यूजली वी मेक द फाइव टू गेट राउंडेड ऑफ टू टेन ओके नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस रूल बाय टेकिंग द एग्जाम्पल on page number 19 you have this question rate these numbers to the nearest tens okay these are the numbers now see here this is the first number which is 28 while rounding of this number to the nearest tens what we have to do we have to first focus on ones place here the ones place has 8 as a number as we have seen here 8 will get rounded off to 10 so what we have to do we have to uh, round this 8 to 10 then what will happen the tens place value will get increased by 10 so the rounding of 28 is 13 okay now in the next example the ones place has 6 which is also will get rounded off to 10 so uh, here also the tens place number will get increased by 10 so the 36 will become as 14 now in the next example the ones place number is 2 which will get rounded off to 0 so the number 52 will remain as 15 just this 2 will get vanished okay now in this number the number is 41 One will get rounded off to zero, so the number forty-one will become fourteen. Now in this number, six is uh, six is there in the ones place, and we know six will get rounded off to ten, so the tens place number eight will become as nine, so the number nine hundred and eighty-six will become nine hundred and nineteen. same way in this last example the ones place number is 5 and which also will get rounded off to 10 so the tens place number will become uh, from 9 to 10 but uh, when the 9 will become 10 um, the 100 place number will also will get increased so the number 4895 will become 4900 okay Now let's see the rule to apply while rounding of the number near to hundred. So the rule is, uh, we should focus on now tens place. And let's understand this rule by the number line. Here this is the number line. The numbers ten, twenty, thirty, and forty are nearer to zero than hundred. So we round off ten, twenty, thirty, forty as zero, and the number sixteen, seventy, eighty, ninety will get rounded off to hundred. So we round them off as hundred. Number fifty is equidistant from both zero and hundred, so we will round it off uh, to hundred only. Okay. Now let's saw some examples related to this rule. These are the numbers. Now here see. Ah, uh, now we have to focus on tens place. Now here the tens place has five as number means fifty. So ah, um, as fifty will get rounded off to hundred. Ah, uh, we have to increase the hundred place value by one. But here there is no number. so the number 57 will get rounded off to 100 same way in this example the tens place has 5 uh, which also will get rounded off to 100 means the 100 place will increase by 100 means 4 will become 5 so the number 458 will become 500 okay now in the next example the tens place has 3 Which will get rounded off to zero, so the number six hundred and thirty-eight will become six hundred. Okay. Now here the tens place has nine, which will get rounded off to hundred. So the hundred place one will become two. Uh, so the number one 
1198 will become 1200. Now in this example, the tens place number is 2 and 2 will get rounded off to 0. So the number 4622 will become 4600. Now in the last example, the tens place has 5 on the tens place. So the 100 place value will get increased by 100. So the number 2551 will become 2600. Okay. Now let's see the rule to rounding off near to thousands. Here the rule. Uh, now here we have to focus on 100 place. Okay. So let's understand this by the number line. The numbers 100, 200, 300, 400 are nearer to 0 than 1000. So 100, 200, 300 and 400 will get rounded off to 0. And the numbers 600, 700, 800, 900 are nearer to 1000. So they get rounded off to 1000. And the number 500... Anyhow, it is middle, but still it will get rounded off to 1000. Okay. Now, let's solve some examples related to this. These are the numbers. While rounding off to nearest thousands, we have to focus on 100 place. Now, this is the number 5900. As uh, on 100 place, there is a number 9, which will get uh, um, rounded off to 1000. So, the number 5900 will become 6000. Okay. Now, here the in the next example, the number 2546 has 5 as on 100 planes uh, which will get rounded off to 1000. So, the number 2546 will become 3000. Now, in this example, 7 is there on 100 planes. Which also will get rounded off to 1000. So, the number 3726 will become 4000. And here, 2 is there on 100 place. So, uh, as 2 will rounded off to 0. So, the number 1245 will become 1000. And here, 3 is there on 100 place. Which also will get rounded off to 0. So, the number 4389 will become 4000. And the last example has 6 on its 100 place. So, 6 will get rounded off to 1000. So, uh, the number 3698 will become 4000. Okay. Um, here, these are the rules which I have told to understand and to keep it in the mind while rounding off the numbers. Uh, in next video, I am going to teach you how to solve the estimated number calculations. We will understand this in our next video. If you like my teaching, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Uh, then you will get notification of the upcoming videos. Till then, bye everyone. Thank you.